the medium Junae to get there. I'm going to attack that, and now we're going to push over to the both flanks with most of my Kabayas. And uh, here we go, entering range of the medium Bune, and let's get some shots for you guys. You can see that uh, my archers should start firing any time now. Here they go, going towards the side, and they're going to start taking shots. Here they go, swinging the bow, taking shots right into the deck. And uh, now the bow Kabayas are in place to uh, actually engage. And I'm going to uh, have them see that they're trying to board my general. I'm going to activate the battle speed and get out of there if I can. Oh no, it looks like I already got hitched. Oh well. It looks like they're trying to also board me over here. So it looks like they're going to board me in two different locations. Alright. Have they boarded here? Yep. They are going to start to board me. And you can see that uh, th th this one is already kind of routing. And uh, they're going to start attacking there. I've got my Kobaya stationed nicely here. And the battle has started enraging on the deck. You can see that uh, from the uh, little meter, the forces are almost equal. Oh, actually, my forces are beginning to rout. Oh shit, this isn't good. Let's activate Warcry. What's that? I won here, so I'm going to go quickly. Oh my god. So we pretty much lost that ship. <laughs> I'm pretty much a noob at these battles, so it looks like I'm j I just lost a battle when uh, I I had a superiority. But you can see here that I'm now firing at this medium Bune, and they're not too happy about that. They are taking casualties on deck. Let's see if we can get some inside footage. Nothing really going on on the inside there. You can see that uh, they're trying to catch me. I'm going to battle speed it out of there. Keep, yeah, that's that's the problem. I guess I I didn't really manage them properly. There you go. They are routing. So uh, all is well. Oh, looks like one of their ships did come back. Well, let's uh, turn turn here and try to capture that one. Mm, I let me see if I can board this. I'll board it with the weaker ship. See, this one um, is weakened. I'll board it there, and then I'll use the other Kobaya, which is actually going to, trying to, um, these guys are hurt, 16 out of 26. Let's see if I can catch up to them. Yep, it looks like I am going to catch up to them and capture that ship, so awesome. And now here comes this other one. You can see that they are setting their eyes towards me. I'm going to run away you can and keep shooting at them. You can see that I've captured that ship now. I don't know if they're trying to capture my medium Bunei or going for my trade ship. Yeah, they're probably going for my trade ship. This isn't too good. Let's start pulling that one back. Or no, they're trying to board the medium Bune. See, I'm uh, as I said, I'm a complete and total noob when it comes to the mechanics of uh, the you know the naval battles. Um, I really have no idea how this shit works. Like, I'm just moving my ships around and hoping I can shoot hoop, shoot their ships. And I look at morale and I see that morale goes down and up, but I don't really know what the hell's going on. <laughs> uh, but um. I guess that's the way it happens, right? All I know is that I need to get this one in a crossfire. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. And I don't know if boarding the ship allows me to capture it. Oh no, don't get boarded, don't get boarded! Get out of there, there you go, good boy. So yeah, we're out of there, and we are still taking shots into this one. And looks like I'm out of ammo? What? Why? There we go. That is going to be the defeat of them. Because that is last ship and I don't see any more. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to pretend that I, kn that I know much about the, um, the, the, the battle. Um, the naval battle, especially of Japan. But, hey, that was fun. At least I tried, right? And we did win it, so. 
The Jeep will probably have other, uh, other naval, um, like other naval troops around, and judging by how that went for us, I'm not sure if it's going to be great. We did capture, we did capture some of their ships though, which is awesome. I don't know if I can. You need to be in a port uh, to repair. Well, since we're kind of close, let's go back in the port. And I'm actually just going to pick the. N what was that? That was, oh, that was a very hurt Bokabaya. But um, this Bokabaya, I won't be able to send back. Oh, I'll send it back. I'll wait one turn. Who cares? Let's move everybody back here together. In fact, let's move everybody back in and then re, re um reheal them or a re re recruit re recruit recruit <laughs> more uh, salesmen and seamen. <laughs> and then uh, I don't know if anyone got that. And then when we do that, it should be nice. Now let's see if this guy can. Uh, he already demoralized that army, but let's see if he. No, he didn't actually. I tried it with a ninja. Let's see if this guy can make it work. Aw, oh, he failed. That sucks. Well, let's see the ninja. He can't sabotage because I don't have enough money. And the assassination attempts are very unlikely. So I'm going to keep this ninja away at this time. And uh, let's see here. We are at peace with the Satomi. Um, but they are getting attacked by the Hojo. And um, I don't like that at one bit. I don't like that at all. Uh, attacking my allies like that that's not gonna happen ninja is gonna go and do his work let's see still not doing a lot but let me see if I can find better and easier targets can sabotage that army yeah let's go sabotage the, these two armies here so go do your thing the shinobi no shinobi no resugi that is his name okay so not much going on not much going on at all just uh, re-recruiting everything as you can see and uh, I'm just going to quickly t oh I completely forgot what I was researching here god damn it I'm such a baddie at these things let's see this gives 10% diplomatic relation this gives loyalty of the generals this is gonna give me minus uh, upkeep costs for all armies well that's actually pretty good um, I'll pretty after this one uh, 2% wealth by farms and secret police, and this makes the Metsuke action go down. Um, I'm actually going to jump over here and then do strategy of defense, a uh, strategy of attack once this one is done. So that's going to end this turn. Let's go ahead and wrap that up. You can see that the Hojo are going absolutely nuts towards the south, and uh, I need to deal with that. And here comes the Takeda, again trying to attack the Kozuke, and again <laughs> failing. Uh, uh, attacking the Yamanuchi at Kozuke, and they fail again. And um, I do know that the uh, that the uh, I think either the Hojo, yeah, the Hojo did capture that castle from the um, from the Yamanuchi early on, and then uh, the Uesugi family tries to recapture it several times, but doesn't really succeed. And look at this dangerous Jimbo army coming close. And you know what I say to that? I say, bring it bring it on I'm ready for you I'm going to take come at me bro come at me oh, let's see what this is a flight of does has been seen shut up stupid advisor I don't want to listen to your stupid advice okay a flight of doves have been seen circling the capital my lord Hachiman's flock brings divine blessings upon our clan so we can increase warrior blessing and this gives us plus two morale for our units for four turns and this abundant catch gives us plus 50 percent to town growth from ports i like that more i really do uh, okay so you can see that this army here is dangerously close to our gates let's keep on recruiting those archers and more yariyashigaru and then i'm gonna take them and you know what you want to come at me you can come at me i'm gonna ro i'm gonna roll you I'm, I'm gonna wreck you you better be afraid they, they, they probably as afraid. They, pr they probably has a lot of afraid sauce. So here we go again. This agent has been trying to demoralize this army, and there we go. It's worked. I don't know. Um, yeah, you can see. Uh, this is great. So now they can't re uh, regenerate, and now time to do some missions. Uh, sabotaging that army has become a little bit more difficult. Come on, man. Please succeed. 
Yes, he subverted it. And he did uh, level up, so excellent. This is, it's on, he's on his way, you know? He's on his way to becoming what we want him to be. Blowpipe. Oh, avoid detection when unsuccessful and one subterfuge when assassinating. I'm going to do with the blowpipe. And uh, there we go. Now, next turn, he's going to be trying to, uh, s you know, uh, harm this one. You can see these guys have some armor and weapon upgrades. So this province here let's make some roads because you can see that traveling in this province is a little bit too difficult uh, due to the lack of roads uh, there is a shrine here though and uh, this holy site I can get experience from the monks recruited here and all the units have more morale when they're recruited there if I do uh, build a pilgrim hostel and if I build a mountain uh, hermitage I get experience level for monks increases and it's basically so one favors uh, you know a, a pure uh, warrior monk approach the other favors a little bit of a mixed approach and they one of them costs a little bit more than the other I think I'll end up going with this one because this gives me all uh, three morale to all units recruited irregardless of whether they're warrior monks or not so I will probably go with that in the future I need to upgrade uh, Shimotsuke to a um, to a stronghold. You can see that Shimotsuke isn't really growing. Hitachi is growing slowly. Fukushima is also growing, and Echigo is also growing. So good growth uh, in general. And these guys should start. I don't know how. I guess I have to click on them. You need to be in a port and have sufficient funds. Oh, I don't have enough money to even repair. I've got ten Koku left. <laughs> uh, that's funny so let's go ahead and uh, wrap this turn up and uh, yeah I, d I forgot to do the the little musical piece for the day so let me grab the guitar and do that all right here we are I've got the guitar and I'm kind of trying to think uh, for what song I want to play all right um, let's see this this should be really easy I mean if you don't know this then I don't know something's wrong all right here we go Oh shit, here they come. That's gonna have to stop. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, so with this battle, it's going to wrap up this episode. You can see that they have a lot of bows and a lot of uh, Yari Ashigaru, but I have retainers, samurai monks, and I have a lot of bows myself. So here we go. Time to fight. Oh, I forgot to do drop in. Oh well. So, Uesugi Masakage against Jimbo Yoshiaki on the Nagu. Nagoaka. Nagoaka. Nagoka. Nagoka. Nagaoka. Nagaoka, I guess. And it's 1549. So here we go. It, things should be fine if I play my cards uh, normally. Um, I have a lot of faith in my units. And that warrior monk with Warcry is gonna wreck them. It's gonna wreck them, yo! It's gonna wreck them. So let's just uh, wait on this baby to load up. And yeah, um, that song had to kind of stop in the middle. Screw you, Jimbo! You stopped a very epic and classical song from being completed. So you will have to pay with your lives and dearly. Dearly, dearly. Let's say let's say what let's see what our general is actually going to um what he's going to uh, say to inspire his troops today. が敵に礼を尽くすのは豚と百姓だけじゃ。いや、敵の方が豚百姓にも及ぶまい。あらば美しい。地獄の鬼どもが束になって襲ってきたとて、この石垣を守り抜くぞ。だが、当面の敵は
I, I can't really do uh, much. Um, and I'm going to move them accordingly uh, to different places of the map, uh, of the this little small castle that we have as our opponents come towards us. Uh, as for my Ashigaru units, well, I don't know if putting them in loose formation will actually change anything when they're on the walls. Yes, it does. Yes, it does indeed. I guess they just take more space. No, it doesn't. They will stack up the exact same way, whether they are in loose or not loose formation. So let's stack them up on the walls. There they are. So we got these two stacked up. This one is also stacked up. This one is not stacked up. Let's put them here. And then we've got our warrior monks here. The gist of the army. And uh, looks like I forgot about this Yara unit. I'm going to put my infantry on this side. So they're also going to be in loose formation. As you can see, there isn't really much space in the fortress for my men to uh, to line up. <laughs> but such is the case when you have a lot of troops defending a small castle. So here's some. Uh, I've never really used bow warrior monks in multiplayer yet. So here they are. They're awesome. All right. So without further ado, to not make this video long, let's start the battle and see where our opponent is coming from. You can see that they are coming at us from two directions. One is here. This side has a lot of Yari Ashigaru, so that, that, that we shouldn't worry about that. Their archers are faced over there. Most of their archer force are faced over there. And most of my archer force are actually uh, malpositioned. And uh, I'm going to select them. And uh, move them to the walls there. Have them start running. Run, run, run! And I'm going to put this one in loose formation and have them stand uh, behind the wall. As for my Yari Ashigaru, well, I'm going to take three of these. I'm going to keep them in uh, close formation, hide them over here at the back. And uh, you can see that the enemy is also approaching from that angle. I need to take these two, this unit here, run them quickly. And uh, I'll also bring. I'll just mass my troops here. I'll actually keep my warrior monks back. And now we are starting to take shots at the enemy. Looks like they are going to try to run towards us, at least from one direction. So I'm going to take my. Uh, And then I'm going to place this unit right there, and then run these guys back over here. And take these guys also back. And uh, these are what Yari Ashigaru coming up. So now I'll just uh, run all my uh, archers. Oh boy. Run all my archers back here. And then. Uh, you can see that enemies are starting to come. Go spear wall. You can see these guys are trying to capture the wall. Uh, we'll stop that with that there. And then move two more Yari Ashigaru here. And then uh, I will also bring this one. There we go. We're going to start attacking. And uh, let's get our Bow Warrior Monks busy here. In that vicinity. Make uh, spear wall that, and now let's activate. Why can't I activate war cry yet? Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let me charge them here, and let's get my general busy. You can see that uh, my guys are having a nice cakewalk. There he is, he is getting shot. My missile units, well, look at that. All that remains are the opponent's missile units. So now, mm, time to move my missile units to the walls. Run, 
Run, you fools, run! And now I'll just hold all my infantry. Let's go and just stack them back here. And then my general will also come back here. And you can see that we've pretty much dealt with them uh, nicely. We have taken some good casualties on pretty much uh, all fronts, but that's not really a problem. Oh, what's going on here? We still have a unit of Yari Ashigaru. Let's attack them. Have they, like, breached the gate? That's weird. Whoa, 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 where are you going? It's like there's a glitch here or something. Look, there's, like, two guys. That's odd. So here we are. Uh, our units are fighting. There are more Yari Ashigaru here. It's like I'm gonna have to run my missiles back. And uh, then uh, bring my infantry forward. Commanding troops in such a small, tight space is kind of tough. And uh, let me target. See, it's like really tough to have these guys line up the way I want them to line up. And my warrior monks are taking a lot of casualties here. They're being shot by enemy units. And let's bring my general here. You see that some of their units are coming back into the fight. And now my missiles can finally exchange fire with their missiles. And my infantry, well... You can see infantry here. Are these regular infantry? Yeah, they are. I'm going to take all my troops and actually r run out to meet these troops. And uh, I'm going to activate... Oh, is that a back attack? Oh, that's weird. Where did that one come from? And... here we go. Go, go, go! Just gonna run my infantry over there. Chase these guys away. And my bows? Well, my bows are exchanging uh, missile fire with these units. You can see that these Boa Shigaru are outnumbering me, but that's not too much of a problem. Our infantry forces. Run back, run back, let's go. And I'm just waiting for them to get into the range of Warcry, so I can use that. There's the first unit, and then come on, get the second one in there. There we go, Warcry. Now their morale is going to drop severely. And here comes their general. Grab these two units and attack the enemy general and inspire them. And yes, indeed, a glorious victory will soon be ours. A glorious victory was ours uh, a long time ago. And there, there goes Fraps acting up again. I do apologize for this, but thankfully this is the end of the battle, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. There goes their general, and um, there go the remainder of their troops. Uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this episode. Remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. And uh, I will show you the uh, results screen uh, when I'm done.